Earlier this month, the Arts Council of Winston-Salem and Forsyth County partnered with PowerToGive.org to offer a creative new form of online giving for its member organizations. The PowerToGive.org model was originally developed by the Arts and Science Council of Charlotte-Mecklenburg. It allows individuals to easily give a gift to the organizations and projects that are nearest and dearest to their hearts. Like online fundraisers like Kickstarter and Donors Choice, Power to Give makes posting projects, promoting them to different audiences, and giving itself more convenient for all involved. That sounded like a winning combination to Arts Council of Winston-Salem and Forsyth County Chief Operating Officer Richard Emmett. He stopped by WFDD along with United Arts Council of Greater Greensboro President and CEO Tom Fillion, North Carolina Shakespeare Festival and Festival Stage of Winston-Salem Executive Director Will Elder, and Piedmont Craftsman's Jane Dabb. And it allows uh, the organizations in the arts and cultural sector to tap into some uh, social media and online giving that we haven't been able to tap into before. And the North Carolina Arts Council helps subsidize other cities in the state to take this model with the help of Charlotte and bring it to regions like the Triad. So basically, you get a project, and what happens next? And so uh, we're working with the arts groups in our community, and Tom and his group are working with groups in Guilford County. And so these organizations are putting up projects that they wouldn't traditionally get funded through other means. And so they're looking for help to get these non-traditional projects funded and try to make them fun and try to make the connection between how people can – their money actually helps with a specific funding aspect of the organization. That was interest for me. And, and, Tom, maybe you could expound on that a little bit. I mean, it's one thing to give in broad strokes and other to – as universities have found throughout the years. If yeah. you were a former yeah. musician, maybe you want to give to the construction of a new music school or maybe just a practice room well, or something or, within that. You know, even specific projects. In our case, over in Greensboro, Carolina Theater has decided that they want to take their signboard out front, that old, wonderful thing with thousands of light bulbs on it, and want to go green. They want to change the mechanism and put green light bulbs in there that last longer and all that stuff. So, I mean, they're literally raising money through this program, Online Power to Give, one bulb at a time. That's the kind of thing that resonates with a lot of people because it's compelling. They get it. Otherwise, they'd have to take that money and spend it and take it out of their general operating fund. Down the road, where where do you see this going? Well, one of the great things is our Arts Council only gives out grant funding for innovative projects and other things one time a year. The Power to Give platform will be year-round. So organizations that are in need of funds for Christmas programming or want to do something special around, you know, another time of year will be able to put their project up any time of year to try to get funding. And also what has really been helpful to us is a partnership with Wells Fargo for matching money. So any dollar given online is going to be matched by Wells Fargo up to, in our case, $30,000 here in the Winston-Salem community. And I know Wells Fargo was supportive in Guilford County as well. So Every dollar that an individual gives to the project is going to be matched, so organizations have uh, even greater incentive to put some projects online thanks to that great gift. Thankfully, here we get a chance to look down the road a little bit and see where this could possibly lead in the Winston-Salem area, Forsyth County area. You all kicked off in May and on the 21st Yeah, just a couple of weeks this. ago. Right. How are things going? We'll talk about great, what's going on the great. ground. We've, we've already used up our Wells Fargo match. We've raised about $21,000 on, on the site. We've got uh, out of two dozen projects that were initially listed, uh, four of them are completely funded. Uh, a number of others are getting very close. But what's really great, I mean, thinking about the future is, you know, if we can raise fifty or $100,000 a year for projects, through Power to Give over in Greensboro, you know, that, that's in addition to the regular grant making that we do, and it complements what we're all doing. The agencies over there in Greensboro have gotten extremely into this, uh, very excited about it, and they see it as an opportunity to connect with new donors and develop relationships on a level that they haven't been able to before. Well, and the Arts Council is also excited about that because generally, you know, we get money from individual donors, but we don't reach a lot of people in the community. So we're hoping that this is another way for us to connect with people in the community that are willing to give, you know, and I think the average gift online for a power to give is about $50. That's right. People that are willing to give 20 40 50 dollars to a project but haven't traditionally connected with the arts council but this might be a way to do it so we're excited not only about the organizations connecting with new donors but the arts council as well i love the just as with kickstarter the specificity involved mm-hmm. in this sort of giving could you talk about that with regard to theater and specifically festival stage how this program power to give is going to be the catalyst for more giving well at festival stage of winston salem this attracts a different kind of donor. 
A lot of donors, are, you have your traditional donor that gives to your annual fund that just goes into general operations that really is your bread and butter that just makes your organization run. But there are people that that doesn't attract. This attracts the individual that wants to know exactly where their dollar is going. And with our project right now, it's Save Our Stranded Actors. We're bringing professional actors in from all over the country, whether it's Florida, New York, Philadelphia, and there is a real cost to that. And so there are a lot of donors that will say, well, man, I love that last show. I'd love to help with that. I'm going to bring in an actor from Broadway. I'm going to help pay for that. Now, I'll shoot $50 or $500 or $5,000 over to that organization. It's quick. It's instant. It's online. It's a great way to give. This this program seems like it's going to be it's a tailor-made fit for what you all are doing at Piedmont Craftsman as well. I think so. Uh, at Piedmont Craftsman, we're trying to figure out how to take the general fine arts and bring them to everyone. Uh, we have a basic theory that Everyone should be involved in the arts, whether they are in any segment of the society. Uh, and so working with Habitat for Humanity, we know the homeowners there are struggling in some ways just to get a house. And so with our program, we're trying to help them make that house into a home by creating individual pieces that they can then use to decorate or use in their home, such as um, hand-painted placemats for the family. With those placemats, they then gather around their dinner table every evening, and they can talk about the project that they did together in the workshop as well as have a great dinner together. It's one of those things, you, you reconnect with it every time you have a meal. It just it puts a smile on your face. Exactly. And for that particular workshop that we've done already with the Habitat homeowners, that's what they did. They would bring their kids in, their teenagers. They sat down. They each drew out something they wanted to paint. And then they got to take it home and use it. Uh, that's just one of um, ten programs that we've already accomplished with the Habitat program. And now with Power to Give, we're going to be able to hopefully raise more funds to continue the program and bring more homeowners into the classrooms. My thanks to the Arts Council of Winston-Salem and Versailles County Chief Operating Officer Richard Emmett, United Arts Council of Greater Greensboro President and CEO Tom Fillion, North Carolina Shakespeare Festival and Festival Stage of Winston-Salem Executive Director Will Elder and Piedmont Craftsman's Jane Dabb. Power to Give allows you to support the triad art scene in new and highly targeted ways that are increasingly important to arts organizations as they work to maintain the high quality that we've come to expect. So give to the arts often, give where your passion lies, and it's just one mouse click away. Powertogive.org. Pick the triad city you'd like to support and away you go. You'll find links on our website, wfdd.org slash triadarts. 